This is Game Salad. Uh, what we've got is we've got a number of things in this main project. Uh, you'll see we have the project info, scenes, actors, tables, and services. Um, you guys might not have services because mine's a pro version, so don't worry about it. Um, I kind of fancy, I know. But the thing to concern yourself with is you can title it whatever you want. Uh, and the platform, you know, we have a ton of platforms, iPhone 5, 6, Legacy. Uh, we have Nooks, if anyone uses a Nook, uh, iPad, and, you know, MacBook, and so on and so forth. So I'll just stay in iPhone 5. Uh, that's kind of the default. Uh, the lovely thing about iPhone 5 is it scales up into 6, so it's just very easy to develop on there and go up or down to 4. Um, and what we're going to do is I'll click on Scenes. And then we have our initial scene. Now, what I want you to think about is scenes are levels. Okay, Think about scenes as levels. So it's where we put all our stuff and where we actually play the game. OK, so we have game salad right here. So what we've got is the black part is the screen. This is what you can see. OK, gray part you can't. So you can put things out here that you can't see. The white line is kind of an area of safe space. Because it's kind of like, if you look at my phone, you see how like um, if the screen, let's start it. So if you're trying to push buttons like in the corner of the screen, it's going to get awkward and you're going to have a bad time when you're designing a game. So that's just kind of a thing to let you know like, hey, it's going to be awkward if someone's trying to play this at this area. So it just it's a visual guide. We've got our inspector. On the left, where we'll see actors, our attributes, which I'll get into. And down here, we have our behaviors, which is what we're going to use to program with. Images and sounds. All right, so let's make something. So if you go over, and let me just get that off the corner, you'll see this little plus. Now what we're going to do is, if I hit this, I get a new actor. So if I take this actor and I drag it onto the screen, Oh my god, there's something on the screen. Ooh. All right, but it does nothing. So what we do is Game Salad primarily uses we create actors, we put them in the scene, and we make them do stuff. So let's double click on this actor. We're inside the actor now. You'll see I'm in actor one. We have all our attributes about that actor, so how big they are, where the position is. Um, physics, there's physics built into this, so if you wanted to do that, you can. Everything about them. So what we're going to do first is this is going to be our player, OK? So as you saw in my little demo before, we've got to give them WASD controls, so WSAD. We're going to give them keyboard controls. Now, the way we do that is we make what's called rules, OK? So I'll show you if we click it. Now, I want you to think about a rule like this. If this, do that, all right? So if this happens, do that afterwards. That's a rule. Um, for the people who know programming, it's if statements. Um, and you also have an otherwise, so you can do that too. Um, so what we're going to do is we have right at the top, you'll see actor receives event. And what we have as a default is mouse position is inside. Now I can click on that, change it to key. And then you'll see I have a little keyboard button. And then you know I can pick my direction, so or W. You can type it in too if you want. So we go inside. We're going to create a rule. Key W. Now you see how is down at the end. Question is why do we want it to be down? You have two options in there, up or down. What happens when you press a key? It's what? Like down. yeah, it's down. It's literally down. Up is the default state of your keyboard when nothing is pressed. So if you were saying when the actor receives key, when you press a key down, we're going to go to our behaviors and we're going to find move and just drag it right on in here. See, we've got move, we've got a speed, and we've got a direction. So direction is 0 to 359. So you'd think like, oh, why not 360? Well, here's your fun fact. Computers, when they count, they start at 0 instead of 1. So 0 actually counts. So instead of us going like 1, 2, 3, 4, they'll go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's, that's your fun fact. Um, so what we'll do is W is obviously up. So I'll do 90. 
And uh, you can leave the speed at 300, you can mess with it. Everything is, the world is your oyster. You can do what you want with it. So what I'm gonna do is, I'll just hit back. And then you see the big green play button? I'll hit it, and then obviously if I hit W, I go up. Yeah. So when I'm done, I just hit back again and go into the actor. So just give that a try, make sure it works, and then go back into the actor. Now, most important thing about Game Salad, besides saving, you want to name things. All you can do, any of these, literally, you just double click on the text. I can be like, you know, whatever. I could just say go up. Okay, cool. Now, second most awesome thing. I'm going to click on my rule. You see how it turns blue? Command C, Command V, copy and paste. We can copy and paste whatever we need because we've got three other directions we got to go in. So watch what I'll do. Copy and paste it. Change this real quick. Change the key. Down is S. And change the direction, which is 270 for directly down. So we have that. And then I'll just go to the first one, and you'd see next to on, we have a little arrow. I can just collapse it. So I can just kind of get that out of the way. So we have go up, we have go down. Let's do it again. We'll go here, I'll say A to go right, and that is 180. And we need left, which is D. And if you want to use arrows, you're more than welcome to. But D and zero. Now you'll notice the little dot right here. That'll show you what direction you're going in. You can actually physically move that if you click on it too. So what we should have right now is everyone should have the four rules. And what'll happen is, you see I have full movement. And so the move type you'll see is additive, so that lets me go on diagonals. So they should all look like this. Go up, go down, go left, go right. Or go right, go left. Whatever floats your boat, either or. The thing about um, what we're doing is with mobile games, your screen real estate, not tremendous. Not tremendous. Um, there are ways to get around this, but this is essentially your camera to the world. Not the biggest thing. So if you notice, our dude, kind of gigantic. Not really going to work out so well in this type of game. So what we can do is, if you go to the left in the actor, you'll see size. So I can take a look at that. Let's make them like 40 by 40. Now this is all in pixels. Everything is in pixels. So we make them 40 by 40. There we go. That's, that's way better. And he just kind of scoots around. We got more stuff to play with. But first, actually, before we do that, you notice how this guy's named Actor1? Nah, we don't want that. Let's just click on that and just type in player. So it's nice, it's neat, and we like it. I'm going to ask you guys a trick question. Not really a trick question at all. Where do I go to create a new actor? Gold star. So we're going to make one more actor. And we're going to call this guy, let's say like lava. Because he might, may, or may not be lava. 